Welcome back to another free training hosted by yours truly, Mr. David Dodge. I got my main man, Dennis Silva. Dennis and I are going to be bringing you guys some free training today. And this is all about using SMS marketing to connect with motivated sellers. Welcome back to another free training hosted by yours truly, Mr. David Dodge. I got my main man, Dennis Silva. Dennis is um, a virtual assistant that I've been working with for seven years. He is an amazing guy. Not only is he an employee of mine, but he's a friend. I love Dennis. He helps me in my business every single day, and he's a big part of my business. So Dennis and I are going to be bringing you guys some free training today. Um, again, here inside of real estate school. And this is all about using SMS marketing to connect with motivated sellers. Uh, we've done some trainings in real estate school thus far about cold calling sellers, and we've done some driving for dollars marketing in there. Um, and I think there's even a couple other things we've done in there as well in terms of the, the specific marketing. Um, today's training is obviously going to be touching on SMS. Now, I like using SMS for so many reasons, and we're going to get into that. Uh, but one of the main reasons is because Batch Leads lets you do it, and I love Batch Leads for so many other reasons. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's jump on in. If you guys are here on the call live today, um, welcome, and feel free to drop a comment down in the chat if you have any questions You know, in real time. Towards the end of the call, we will open it up for a live Q&A. We always do live Q&As for the live trainings. Uh, but again, please save the comments until the end of the call. Um, if you have something in the in the meantime, again, use the chat feature over here in in, in Zoom, uh, please. Okay, I'm going to jump in and get started, guys. Let's rock and roll. I'm going to share my screen with you all. Um, again, this is a free training located in real estate school, guys. The community is growing. Today is April 27th. It's 2 p.m. Central Time. We got 470 members, essentially. Um, all of the replays, by the way, are going to be over here in classroom call replays. And if you scroll down, you're going to see training replay. There's a library in here on how to make offers and, you know, how to use um, different softwares. And there's some cold calling examples in here, uh, which is awesome. And I'm going to be adding more and there's bonus trains. We have a lot of really great stuff over here in the classroom, as well as a free course on wholesaling and a free course on landlord and a contract generator and a, and a real estate data course and all types of amazing things. One thing that we're really working on right now, building out is the deals A to Z training, which is actually step-by-step step, um, when we go do a deal. So we're doing some deals right now. And every time we go to the deal, we're going to take video and photos and explain what we're doing. So if you are new to this, this business, we are essentially going to teach you everything we do step-by-step step to wholesale deals, fix and flip deals, burr deals, and add properties to the portfolio of rentals, you name it. And then there's an amazing calendar. Look how many events we have on this calendar. It's amazing. May, I've already started to fill it up. I'm going to be filling in the gaps. I would love to do something almost every day if possible. Ideally, every day. Guys, I love it. Members, again, we're growing. There's a really great feature in here about the leaderboard. And it's really, really fun. In fact, I just sent out all my books and uh, some swag to the top five leaders. So again, if you guys are new to the community, check it out out. It is amazing. And that's where you're going to find the replay to this call right here. You can find that at reischool.com. Also, we're going to be using Batch Leads today. Batch Leads is my favorite software. It's literally my number one favorite software. And if you guys use the link below the replay here, and I'll make a post in school as well, uh, batchleads.io forward slash Dave. This is going to give you a free trial for seven days. It's also going to give you a thousand property records that you can use to go pull and then um, do whatever you want to do to market to them. Call them, text them, email them, send mail to these individuals. You can use these leads to find buyers or my personal favorite, motivated sellers. So again, use the link uh, down below to get those additional uh, features. You can get a seven-day free trial, but if you use my link, you're going to get a thousand property records included with that. I love it. Okay. So again, today is all about SMS and Dennis is here today. He's going to help me do this demo because Dennis is the one that is using batch leads 90% of the time, probably even more than that, right? He is in and, um, and is a pro at this. Dennis, 
how long have you been in batch texting, calling, running comps, pulling lists with me? You know, we've probably been in this uh, for what, three years, maybe even years, longer yeah. at this yeah, point? Yeah, or more, four, three years? Might even be four, man. We, we're we really rocking. So um, we took some time off. In fact, the last month, we haven't done a whole lot of texting um, because we were changing platforms and we were reconfiguring some things in our business. But if you look at the past year, we have sent almost 200,000 SMS, all right? SMS is a great way to market. In fact, we've received almost 40,000 responses from motivated sellers, which is such an amazing tool. So what we do in batch, we go in and we find ourselves lists. Let's say I want to find a list of property owners in the 63144 zip code. It's my office. And let's just say I want to go and I want to find the, uh, the vacant properties. I can click the vacant filter and then boom, I got 109 properties that I can then select and I can add to the my list area. And then from there, I can skip trace those leads. And then from there, once I skip trace those leads, I can add them to an SMS campaign. And then I can start texting these individuals from the SMS campaign. Once I start texting individuals, and Dennis is gonna demo not only the outbound texting, but also the management of how this all works. There is one area on the left side called inbox. And I love this because we can text individual campaigns and, and, and get creative that way. But there's one place, right, to answer all the inbounds. And this is where we're going to manage all of the inbounds right here. And then, of course, you can look at the reports as well. So, again, don't forget, go get yourself a free trial if you haven't already. It's such an amazing tool. There'll be a link down below this video uh, to, again, get those 1,000 bonus leads during that free trial. Uh, my advice would be to go pull some motivated seller leads, right? Go pull some vacants, go pull some absentees. These are the low-hanging fruit, guys. These are the low-hanging fruit. I always want to repeat that because it's the truth, right? I've bought and sold about a 1,000 properties in the last eight years, and 70% of them or more were vacant or absentee. I should say and or because some of them are both. So if you are looking for the easy deals, the ones that – you know, are going to be much easier to come across. It's the vacant properties. It's the absentee owned properties. Now there's lots of ways to go about marketing to, to motivated sellers. You can pull lists of divorces and pre foreclosures and, you know, high equities or link tax delinquents or liens. But my personal favorite is typically going to be the vacants and the absentees. I think the next one on that list would probably be the tired landlords. Uh, but again, there's so many different ways to pull these leads and generate lists. Um, so it, it's awesome. I love it. All right, Dennis, do me a favor, share your screen. And what I want to do is I want to shadow you along with my guests today. All right. I want to shadow you and I want to see not only how we can go about sending out, you know, a little bit of, of, of SMS, we can, you know, maybe send a hundred or 200 text out. Um, but then I also want to see how you're managing, the responses and what you're doing and how you're looking at these deals. And um, while Dennis is doing that, we can, we can open it up um, for a real time, you know, Q and a to kind of explain how this works, but I would love for you to jump in and, and demo this for us, Mr. Dennis. For sure. Hi everyone. Let's go to the main dashboard. Let's go to the main dashboard. I like it. Okay. The main dashboard of batch leads. And like Dave mentioned earlier, you can see every, responses that you might get here in inbox part so yeah so no status and these are all the things that you can tag all of those responses with and so, so let's do this let's start from the let's start from the, the beginning and let's go to one of the campaigns so like somebody would pull a list they would then skip trace that list and then they would push that list to a campaign so let's go to the campaigns area and again there's a lot of uh, training already in real estate school about how to use batch leads. In fact, the entire real estate data course um, is designed and built out to be a knowledge base, essentially, on how to use batch leads. We also touch on it a little bit in the free wholesale course, but mostly the real estate data course. So click on the SMS campaigns for me, Dennis. And we have a couple in here. Okay. So which one are you actively hitting this morning? Today, this one here. So this is a an absentee owner list in 63144. And I just happened to pick that zip code earlier as a demo because that's the off that's my office address zip code here. 
So where I'm sitting right now is 63144. And we had pulled some absentee owners, it looks like just about two weeks ago, roughly. Oh. And we're going to be texting these individuals. So we're going to click resume campaign. Great. And then scroll up a little. You can see on the far left side, we have the person's name, the address, and a phone number. And then in the middle, we have the text that's actually going to be sent. And there's a template. Dennis, scroll down and show where the templates area would be. It's right down there. You can select the template. So right now we're using a simple SMS template. And we have a couple different templates that we'll be happy to share with you all. Um, it'll probably be easier for me to just post those in school, you know, next to the call replay versus um, any other way. I think that's probably going to be the most simple way to go about doing that. Or I can even add them into Google, Google Sheets and share a link so you guys can just go and and copy and paste those right into your own system. All right, so Dennis, how do you send text in here? How does that work? All right, so once you have loaded or chosen the template that you want to text with, uh, you just need to click on this send, and that's how easy it is. And that's it. So you're sending text to people in bulk right now. So these are all the, the, the individuals that I had pulled and scroll down. What list was this again? I'm, my memory is awful. It's the absentees of 63144, right? Yep, absentee owners, 63144. And we actually did a demo in school about how to pull the absentee owners and the vacant owners. And it's in the real estate data class. The, me pulling this list, skip tracing this list, and then setting up an SMS campaign is all in the real estate data class. So once you do those things, you can then push those skip trace leads. Now, again, you're going to have to skip trace the leads to get the phone numbers. You know, just pulling the leads is going to give you the property address and the name of the owner. But if you want the actual phone numbers and or email addresses, you have to skip trace those leads. But once you skip trace them, then you can push those over into an SMS campaign. So Dennis, this is the absentees of, the, of my zip code, 63144. And then you've selected a template, which is great. And then you're sending text. So go ahead and send, you know, 20, 30 texts. You just need to click. And the good thing about the uh, batch, as you can see, it's changing through the templates that you have loaded here. So it would now not be a spam. You would not be tagged as spam. So once you click, it will be a different text message. Yeah. So what Dennis is saying, it's not sending the same message over and over again. You preload the system with a bunch of templates and those templates have mail merging capability, meaning, hey, first name, hey, property address, right? So you'll see here, pause for a second. Or right there, just any of these, right? So stop. So you you have hi, Gallon, Frank, J, Amperstamp, Christina, M, Trust. That's who owns the property. If Bob owns the property, you're going to see, hi, Bob. If Tom owns the property, it's going to say, hey, Tom. So it's mail merging this in. So this is Dennis with HSC, reply in, do unsubscribe. So we leave in the opt-out language because we are doing our best to comply with some of the new regulations, right? So go ahead and send some more of these, Dennis. And over on the bottom left side, you can kind of see how many he sent today. So Dennis has already sent 240 messages. He had been working in this a little bit before we had jumped on already texting some sellers and communicating with people. We have a daily send limit of 1,000, a market send limit of 4,300. And then it obviously shows the remaining. It also shows how much of the campaign is completed. So we're 79% of the way through the campaign. It shows how many of these bounce were sent, available left, all the above. So this is amazing. Dennis, there's 71 left, right? Yes. You might as well just send all of them. All right. All right. We got some comments here. I'm going to read these off. Looking forward to know about the SMS and batch. Yep. That's why we're here, Nick. Absolutely. And we are closing in on that 500 number. For real estate school, I'm excited. I'm going to take this thing to the moon because I enjoy. I just enjoy doing it. Uh, Peyton says, what's the cost of the text? That's a great question. Uh, Batch is the platform that helps organize it. It's the platform that helps us pull the leads and skip trace the leads, manage the sending and then the receiving. But the actual uh, phone numbers um, are billed through Twilio, Plivo, or two or three other places that you go set up an account. And then you essentially just link those systems together you link batch to them it's an api code you copy and paste it. it takes 10 seconds um and then dennis are we spending uh inbound and outbound out of batch or does that come from the other platform i think it comes from the other platform 
because yeah, it's changed over the years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So look at this. We have sent, so refresh your screen. All messages for this campaign have been sent. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and refresh up at the top in the middle right there by the microphone. I can't. Is it, it's, I'm just going to do this. That's fine. No problem. Okay, so we still have 28 in there, which is random, but send them. Go ahead. Or is it, yeah, pick your template. They, that's weird. But oh, well, no worries. We're going to send them out. So we're, we're going to have sent, by the time that Dennis is done here, yeah. we're going to have sent 300 SMS, essentially. 299 outbound SMS. All right, Dennis, before we head on over to the... Um, the inbox, go ahead and unshare for a second. And I'm going to share because what I want to do is I want to demo the um, the way that this works. So you'll see that over the years, and I've had this for three years, I've had 300 and different, different, 319 different phone numbers. If I go into active phone numbers, we have 23 current numbers. And I bought these 23 numbers uh, through Plivo this morning. So that's one of the questions that we are, at, we are asked here by Peyton is, what are the costs of the text? Best marketing for smaller budget investors just starting out. I mean, if you're trying to do bulk anything, I think this is probably the most cost effective um, and most efficient way to do to do marketing. To be honest, it's a whole hell of a lot cheaper than sending mail or setting up a Google AdWords campaign or buying banded signs. You can reach a lot of people really, really quickly. Rick says, I'm not seeing an actual message that you want to buy their home. Just an intro with no other info. Is that how you are sending them? Sometimes. It depends on the template, Rick. So I'm glad you asked. So we're going to jump into that next, right? But the goal with the SMS is to get people to respond. And sometimes just saying, hey, is this is this Rick? Is going to get a response from them. So that way we can then start a, start a conversation. If they don't respond, then there's no conversation that's started. So sometimes... We get a little clever in the way that we try to get them to respond to us, right? So here's the different phone numbers that we're using. If I go up here to SMS templates, and again, I'm going to share these with you all um, in school. And let me zoom in a little so it's a little bit easier to read. And you can see whenever I click on the, the SMS templates to edit, you know, we're just using very simple scripts to open these conversations. This is Dennis with HSE. Hello there, first name. I am Dennis from HSE. Good day, first name, Dennis here from HSE. So they're all a little different. And again, the more templates you have, the better, because then it's not sending the same thing from the same number over and over again. So that's why we have different templates. That's also why we have multiple numbers, right? If you send the same thing from the same number 50, 60, 70 times, the carriers are going to block it, right? So we have to get a little creative here, but batch makes it easy. So again, here's a couple of the templates. Are you the one who owns address? I'm Dennis, by the way, with HSC. Now, notice we have the opt-out language in all of our messages. Some people take that out, and you will get a little bit higher response rate. The only downside to not having that in there um, would be that you know people um, you know may get frustrated and or mad at you, but by seeing this in there, they can easily just respond, end, or stop, or whatever it may be. So we have a bunch of different templates. Now, there's also important information that you want to do, you know, about checking your numbers. You want to change them up often. You want to be creative with how you're sending them. Here's a bunch of keywords. And again, this is all built into batch. It's right here. I'm going to take a screenshot of this and I'll add this into school as well. But when you are sending your SMS, you want to make sure that you're not sending any of these keywords right here, like interested, selling, property, cash, local investor. You all can read these here. You don't want to be sending any of these words in your initial outbound message. Now, after they've responded to you, which is why I like to just get the conversation started first, then it doesn't matter if you use selling or interested or random or consider or property records or out of the blue or any of these things looking for investments, right? There's two of them right there. I am an investor, right? Call, I'm texting you out of the blue about a purchase of your property, right? So you don't want to use these keywords in the initial message. Reason being, they are going to have an extremely high block rate by the carriers, right? So any sort of calling or SMS is kind of a cat and mouse game with the carriers because they're essentially trying to prevent 
you know, people from spamming. Well, I don't look at this as spamming. I look at this as prospecting and marketing. Uh, but again, you have to be creative here. So Peyton says, so the end language covers you, you know, from a potential lawsuit, or is there other ways to combat that just a part of the game you play with SMS? Yes and no. I mean, here's the thing. Anybody can sue you for anything. So it doesn't even matter if you are following all the rules. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're not going to you know, have somebody that gets upset with you by using the opt out language like end to end or stop to quit or quit to, to stop or whatever it may be. And they give you some examples in here as well when you're setting this up. Um, it's going to make you more compliant and have a less risk of that. Absolutely. Hi, I have coronavirus and I'm looking to purchase your property for cash. That's probably not the best message. I'm reading the chat here in Zoom. It's probably not the best message to send because there's like six or seven keywords in there and it most likely won't get delivered. But the point I want to make is we are here to help. So is Batch. They can tell you what keywords not to use. And again, this is in the initial message. So if Dennis sends this message here, hey, Tom, right? Because it's going to mail merge in their first name. This is Dennis with HSE, right? He's not using any of those keywords. So they're going to most likely respond you know, hey, Dennis, what's HSE? Who are you? How'd you get my number, right? And then at that point, Dennis can use any one of these words, me, you, Dennis, whoever, because we've already opened that line of communication. It's only on the initial first outbound connection or a connection attempt, I think it's a better way to, to, to word it, that you don't want to be using these because again, they're going to have extremely high block rate. So guys and girls, I'm going to get out of the way and let Dennis go start texting sellers and making you know, offers and start replying to people. And if we got to call somebody and get on the phone, we're going to do that. We're going to essentially going to let you look over our shoulder uh, for the next 20, 30 minutes here. But we do have a ton of different templates that I want to view and just show you guys. Don't try to, you know, pause the video. I'm going to drop these into school. So you can literally go and copy these. Now, sometimes the key, there'll be new keywords added. And I don't even, I think proposal might be on that list, Dennis. You may want to check yeah. some of these, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, maybe. But the ones that you're using now, the simple ones, are, are all going to be good. So we'll we'll check these before we add them into the replay um, as well. But again, you can add different templates in here, as you can see. And then depending on which template you choose, it's going to allow you to, um, to siphon through those. Now, one more thing real quick, Dennis, before we get started, you also have quick replies. And the system comes with quick replies. You can obviously edit and modify these right here in this menu, which is really, really cool. But these quick replies can be very, very helpful because, you know, most of the time on the first message or two, you're typing the same thing over and over. If they ask you who you are, how you got their information, um, why you're contacting them, you know, any of these things, you're going to get these over, um, why you're contacting them, you know, any of these things, you're going to get these over and over and over again. There's probably about five, six, seven things that are going to continuously happen. And we're going to probably see this. Well, they give you the option to do quick replies. So it speeds it up and it makes it super efficient. So Dennis, I'm going to get out of the way. I'm going to let you start call, texting sellers and uh, we're going to be here to help. Okay. All right. So we're done texting. We're done with the with the actual outbound. Here's the thing that we're going to be doing too. We're going to send a bulk amount, sometimes 30, sometimes 50, sometimes 100, you know, maybe even 200. But then we're going to go monitor the inbox. You don't really want to be bouncing back and forth between sending out new messages and monitoring the inbox. The inbox. It's, best it's, best to... it's better to just keep it. I'm getting an echo. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, yeah, I just want to show everyone this as well, Dave. And they would be able to see how this, this sent, how much text has been delivered and the delivery rate, how much response. refresh. Yeah, refresh. It'll probably go uh, even higher. Oh, yeah, there it is. Look at that. Awesome. 96% delivery. Amazing. So they're all getting through. We've already gotten two responses. Let's head on over to the inbox, Dennis. Yeah. Let's check out and see what's going on here. Now, the new people that come through, and right now you have no status. Click on all. It should default to all. There you go. Well, for all that is actually all the messages for is going to be. Oh, got it. No status means that they're new yeah. inbounds. I see. I'm yeah, sorry. I just want to tell everyone that the most uh, used here are no status and awaiting reply. So I used this to to refresh the page. Example, got it. Got it. Okay. reply. So, 
Yeah. When okay, you go so to this is a perfect ex example here. You got Dennis, you have the wrong number. This is Mark. And Mark's got a property over on the right side. You can see the property address, 9135 Maggi. And um, if you click on the address on the right side, a new tab will actually open up in batch mm -hmm. and give you all the information about the property and who of, of who and which you are actually texting. You can even run comps in real time, which is awesome. Loving it. All right, cool. Let's go back to the inbox. All right, so David uh, sh showed earlier the quick reply. So this one is a wrong number. So I do have this ready. So yep. we have a wrong number. Use it. Just, That's perfect. Okay, click it, and it's loaded here. You just need to send it. So the quick replies are just for quick quickness or for speed, right? You can click where the reply on the bottom left is at and type in your own message as well, or mm -hmm. you can quick go ahead and show that just type a couple things in and then take them out dennis in the in the area right there so this is essentially just like your phone it's just on the computer screen so when the texts come in they come in in blue when you send them out they stay on the right side as white and you know you can do it this way so go ahead and delete that another thing that you can kind of do and you can even send uh, emojis in there too you can use a quick reply so quick quick reply which you've already done but like to click on the wrong number again but let's say that you wanted to go back to the quick reply. Mm -hmm. Click click the wrong number one. And then before you click send, you can actually click into the text and modify that text if you needed to or wanted to, right? Yep. Just like he had done there. So go ahead and remove all that. You don't need to send that guy. I'm just demoing the, the software here. Cool. So you just sent him another text. So you sent him one to open the conversation and this particular guy was a wrong number, but then you just followed up with, do you happen to have any properties that you are looking to sell? Amazing. So what are you doing now? We are Marking going to tag it as a number. number. Yes. Amazing. Look at that. So the system's yeah. actually getting smarter with the skip tracing in the back end because all of its users that are using this system to, to reach out to sellers um, are essentially giving it feedback. Um, in the event that you get somebody that does own the property, you can actually mark it as uh, what's it called in there? Identified or qualified, Dennis? What's the status yeah. for uh, here? Verified owner. Yeah, verified the owner, right? So it's making the skip tracing better. That's why they have the best skip tracing because all the users are helping make it better every second of every day. It's so True. awesome. Okay, so who is this? Quick reply yes. for that one. I this am Dennis. So, like Dave mentioned earlier, we opened the conversation. Now we are in, we can ask anything that we So have. now we don't have any 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 regulations and and or you know that's the wrong word, but we don't have any issues with using those particular keywords that have a high block rate because we've opened a line of communication at this point. If you sure. want to say, hey, this is you know, Dennis, I'm I'm an investor trying to call or trying to reach you about a property that you own. You know, I know this is out of the blue. You're using all these keywords that they're that they're gonna use to essentially not deliver your message. So again, opening the line of communication is going to be the best way to, to be able to get around being able to say what you want. So now that Dennis has done this, click, go ahead and click it, Dennis. Now that he's done it, there isn't address. any essentially blocked words. Oh yeah. Address. And it populates that in, doesn't it? Look at that. Yeah. So we're going to send it. And then we're going to send just like that. So in the event we wanted to call this person, let's just say that this person was like, Hey, I, you know, I love to sell it, you know, click that button right there. And then it's going to pop up with a way to dial them. Look at this calling now. So go ahead and click cancel. You are, you don't have to click call now, or you can, if you want. Yeah. No, yeah. So you can actually click to dial in here too. It's not really designed as a multi-line dialer. It's a one-off one click to call, but it's great because you can use the platform to text sellers or buyers, right? And call sellers or buyers. So if you're trying to prospect and market to find sellers to buy houses from, this tool will allow you to text them and call them all in one spot. If you have a deal and you're looking to find buyers, you can go pull a list of buyers. You can skip trace those buyers. You can dump that into a campaign and then you can text all those buyers and say, hey, this is David. You know, I got a deal I think you may be interested in. You know, let me know if you want me to send you more info. And then you just send them a link to, you know, Google Drive or Dropbox or YouTube or whatever you are using to then market that deal, right? It's amazing. All right, what do you got going on here? Who's Drew? 
the actually one who responded earlier to oh okay cool so you're having conversations in here look at this this is great this is a rental property this is the main property that we are inquiring about and then he told me that he's not selling that but he doesn't have another one that he just rehabbed two years ago and have renters so i asked how much the rent is and his asking price so he said the rent could be 1350 and he's asking 175 i did some comps on it and got around 165 to 169 so he's asking near retail and that would not work for us so what do you do when that happens dennis oh look at this you've already responded yeah, I'm going to put it. I actually did put him on follow up. I'm gonna nice. reach him in a month or so and ask him again because right now he is fixed and getting full retail price, and he is an investor as well. So this actually might not be a deal, but we never put properties in dead uh, status. Not until they ask us to do not call them. We only put them on follow up because. Wholesaling is a follow-up game. That's exactly right, Dennis. Your mic's a little quiet. I don't know what happened, but I can still hear you. Yeah. Sorry about that. So 169, um, just respond to him in a bit, but it's not a deal. So we're waiting for other people to respond. So if someone responded here, no, thank you. All right. So if they said no, thank you, they might not be interested. I do have this here. So we're going to Ask them if ever they would reconsider selling in, in, say, one to three months. I love it. Look at this. You got to see these quicker responses prevent you from having to go type this stuff over and over and over again. Now, you're still going to have to do some typing in here, right, to, to respond to people. But, Dennis, I mean, what would you say the percentage of time that you're using a quick reply versus typing? More than 80%. <laughs> More than 80%. So you're just yeah. clicking the mouse to communicate with hundreds of people every single day. So some okay. people, you know, I mean, whenever – we're in here and we're texting. We are able to, I mean, we've already sent 300 text messages today, 300 outbound SMS messages today, just outbounds on the initial sends. That doesn't even count all the responses that we're sending, right? So if you want to know how to talk to hundreds of people a day, this is going to be the probably the easiest and quickest and best way um, to do it. So you're, you're responding to them and then you're changing the status. You guys keep that in mind. And that is how, um, how it should be done. And then up at the top, you have all the different statuses as little little tags up there, which is awesome. So this person says, no, thank you. And then you said, oh, okay, I understand. And then who's the, what, what, what are the ones below? This is Drew. And these are ones that I have on follow-up lineup. Probably not. Well, for this, we might need to type something in. Yep, no problem. Just say, oh, okay, thank you. Have a great rest of your day. And they didn't tell us to stop contacting them, so let's put them on long-term follow-up. For sure, yeah. In here. Awesome. All right, do we have any new ones that came in? We sent a bunch in the mo in the last couple minutes here. So don't be discouraged if ever you won't be able to get any response right now. They might respond later, tomorrow. The, the best, the, the good thing is that you already have sent its text messages. Yeah, absolutely. So you can come in here and manage it. Now, one of the great things about the Batch Leads mobile app is you can actually manage these SMS conversations from that app. I don't know if you can send new campaign initial outbound messages in there. Maybe you can. But once you have opened that line of communication, again, don't don't quote me on that. But I know for a fact that once you've opened that line of communication, um, you can actually use the mobile app to keep the conversation going and carry that conversation, which is great. But we typically just use the web browser version of it because it's just easier to see once we get somebody that is interested. So let's say, for example, this Strassner 2211 LLC, for example, you know, were to respond back and said, yes, make me an offer. Dennis, what would you do next? So if ever if these are the, so we are going to ask them the condition of their property. If ever they want to ask, or if what is your offer? That is the only question they have. 
this is the answer that I'm going to send them. So you're still using quick responses. I love it because, again, that's about 80% of the time you're going to use a quick response. So you would respond to them. You're not going to do it because they haven't responded. We're demoing this. But you would say, I prefer not to throw out a number before I know a little bit more about your property. Have you made any updates in the last two years? Any repairs needed? Thanks. Now, what if they responded with that and said, I don't have time to tell you all this information. Just make me an offer. What would you do then? All right. Well, we can actually give them a call at that time since um, they would be interested. Or Got it. So let's say that you called them and I'm on the phone. I'm the seller. All right. Hey, David. Hey, this is David. What's going on? Hey, uh, this is Dennis. I actually texted you. I believe uh, you are interested in, se in selling your property in 1251 Strasner Drive. Yeah, I mean, kind of like I'm just kind of busy right now and texting is not the easiest way for me to do this when I'm driving. So I, I you know what? I, I'm actually glad you called. Thank you for calling because I don't want to get in an accident while I'm driving here. For sure, for sure. So so what's up? Who are you guys? Yeah, well, you're actually a local investor and we are located here in Brentwood. And I'm just uh, curious about your property. Uh, I do believe all properties need something. What does your property need? Any updates? Well, it could use a little bit of updates, but, you know, it's in pretty good shape. Um, you know, what, what do you guys think you'd be interested in paying for it? Well, I can run some numbers right now. Well, I just need to know if ever you have a ballpark figure in mind, if ever we're going to pay closing costs and we're going to pay in cash. Click the link there so I can get an idea here, Dennis. You're, I'm blind. <laughs> There you go. Okay. Well, you know, Zillow says that my house is worth like 230 grand. So, you know, I kind of like to get that for it. Yeah. I do know people check Zillow, but I, we both know Zillow is never accurate. Well, I can run some numbers right now. Uh, let me uh, give you a call back in a bit. I'll, I'll give you an offer in a bit. Would that be okay? Sounds good. Thanks for calling. Perfect. So, yeah, perfect scenario here. But the great thing is, is in the event that we get somebody that's interested, the goal isn't to just keep texting them. Texting is a form of communication to open a conversation, right? But the goal is to always get somebody on a phone call. So in this scenario, I had texted back hypothetically saying, I'm not really interested in texting, call me. And then you call them and then you learn more about the property. While you're doing that, you can be in here looking at the comps. You can be looking at the sale and loan information. I already see that they've owned this property for seven years, 11 months. I can see that they bought the damn thing back in 2015 for 140000 right? I can see they have an estimated equity of 230000 and the estimated value is 230000 in the middle here. So what that basically tells me is this particular property doesn't have any mortgage or debt on it, right? Click the, click, click the rent button, click to view. And then you click the rent button right there in the middle, estimated rent right below the estimated equity. Here. Click that. And this will tell you what the estimated rent on this particular property would be. It looks like this is a condo here, but it looks like it would rent for about 1800 bucks a month. It's a two bedroom, one bath. It's about 920 square foot. Looks like it was built in 2007. All that's on the middle of the page in the, on the left side over there. So you get all the information about the property. You can run comps. You can see what they paid. You can see what they owe. In this case, they owe nothing. If you want to see how much the taxes are, you can click the middle bar where it says tax information. Click the middle bar tax information for me, Dennis. Right there. And you can see that the annual property taxes are $2,326. So you can see all types of information about the property. You can even click on the activity far right, all the way to the right. You can click the activity and you can see what we've done. So we've imported the lead. If you hover over it, it'll timestamp it. So we imported the lead. We skip traced the lead. We sent a message. We sent another message. We received a message. So you can actually track what's happening, what messages were sent. If you click to call, all of this stuff is in here and it's trackable. There's an owner profile, there's lists, there's tags. Amazing. So Dennis, go back to the inbox and just take over. I just wanted to kind of show some of the people here and some of the folks watching the replay, just how all the data is right here at your fingertips. And that's what makes Batch so amazing. Not only can you use it for prospecting, finding sellers, finding buyers, texting, calling, all the above, but you can you you can utilize the software to run comps, figure out who's the owner, how many other properties they may own, when they bought it, how much they paid for it, 
what they owe the bank, if any, how many liens they may have on it. All that information is right here at our fingertips. I said it in the beginning. I'm going to say it again. This is my favorite software to help me find properties at a discount. It is amazing. All right, let's rock it and roll back over to the comments while Dennis is in here chatting with sellers. Peyton says, are the responses, are the responses charged as well? Like so much for every single text. Yeah, it's like a third of a penny to send a text and I think even less to uh, receive one. So basically you're going to load up your wallet um, either here in batch or whatever software you want to use to actually manage the numbers. I'm using Plivo. I've used Twilio in the past, but I like Plivo better. Um, but you know, the cost of the actual phone numbers anywhere from one to two bucks a month to own it. So that's a monthly fee. If you got one number, you're going to pay one or two bucks. If you got 30 numbers, you're going to pay, you know, 30, 40 bucks, whatever the dollar per, per number cost is. And then you're going to have to pre preload up a wallet and every time you send a text, receive a text, make a call or receive a call, they're going to charge you. But it's like it's like a third of a penny. So you can go out and send 100 text messages for like 30 cents. I mean, it is like literally the most cost effective marketing that we have ever done. One postcard is going to cost you 50 to 60 cents. You can go send 150 text messages for the same price. Love it. Great question, Peyton. Peyton says, oh, I just read that one. Rick says, you can also see that the owner is an LLC. Do you follow up hard on LLCs? You can see if the owner is a name, an LLC, a trust. You can just see who the owner is, regardless of how it's titled. And the answer to that question, Rick, is it doesn't matter who how it's titled. We're following up with people, not with LLCs or trusts. People own LLCs. People own trusts. People are people, right? So we're going to contact people and see if they own a property, number one. Number two, we're going to ask them if they have interest in selling that property. And if they do, we're going to then run some numbers, make an offer. If they like the offer and we're in the ballpark with them, we're going to then set an appointment to go out and meet them and shake their hand and get face to face with them. We're, we're, we don't do virtual. We're not a virtual company. I've done tons of virtual deals. Uh, but at this point, I'm looking to find my own deals for fix and flip, my own rentals. Basically, we keep the best and wholesale the rest. So we still do some wholesaling, of course. Uh, but wholesaling is. Um, it's just another job at the end of the day, right? It's a great way to make money. It's a great way to get started investing in real estate and just get your feet wet. Uh, but, you know, at this point, I've graduated to an actual investor just versus just a marketer. We still do wholesaling, don't get me wrong. Uh, but I'm really more so not necessarily out here just looking for wholesale deals. I'm looking for really good opportunities for me to buy and hold or to actually buy, fix, and then flip or even buy clean and list. Right. Lots of different ways about going about doing it. All right, Dennis, what do you got, buddy? So we're still waiting for responses. And that's all right. And this is and that's part of the game. So why don't you demo some of these other tags up here and show us what's going on? All right. So you can or go ahead. So yeah, these are all on our CRM already, also for warm leads. These are people who are interested. And Pretty much uh, not interested. So those are all people who said no. So the great thing about these tags, though, is we can go in there, you know, after we send a particular campaign. And right now you have all campaigns selected, right? Yes. Well, click the drop down next to messages where it says campaign. What's that? Ah, that's all the campaigns. So if we wanted to just look at one campaign, look at all the different campaigns we have in here been using this for about four years. It's amazing. We have tons and tons and tons and tons of campaigns. So it's going to default to all, which is great because it allows you to manage all of the text message inbox in one place. You don't have to siphon through a bunch of different campaigns to see. You can see all of it in one spot. So what's up with Casey right there saying stop? So we sent the message out. They're not interested in talking. They click stop. What do you do from here, Dennis? All right. So this is the good thing about having this, Dave, the option to mm -hmm. opt out. And you don't need to tag it anymore. It will be automatically in the do not call list. Oh, it auto DNCs yeah. it. Ah, uh, I see. Oh, so you're in the auto DNC. And I see. So you're not even going to see those inbound messages as stopped. It's going to automatically flag those people as do not call on your internal list. Another thing is, is when you're pushing leads over to a campaign, you can determine if you want to filter in and out uh, the federal do not call list 
um, which is really for um, selling people stuff. So we're not necessarily always filtering out. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't, but most of the time we're not. Uh, reason is, is we're not selling anything. We're other investors, often neighbors, like anybody in 63144 is my neighbor. I define them as my neighbor. So I reach out and I say, hey, I'm a neighbor trying to see if you're the owner of this property because I want to buy some more. Have any interest in selling? I'm not selling them anything. I'm calling them as a neighbor, asking them if they own a property, and if they want to sell it to me, period. So we're not necessarily worried about the federal do not call list. But again, you have the option to filter those in and out. You have the option to filter in and out your own personal do not call list. You have the option to filter, and, and we do, we filter those people out. Uh, you have the option to filter out litigators. We obviously filter those people out. We're not trying to mess with angry people that are going to sue us and they're going to lose that lawsuit most likely, but we're not even wanting to mess with people that are going to be sue happy. So we're just avoiding them. And you have all of those options in there. I love it. Dennis, show us a little bit about the far right side. Actually, jump out of here and I'm going to take over if you don't mind. Perfect. Only because I want to be able to use my mouse here, right? Okay. So one of the things that I really like about this is you can go to the inbox. This is right where we're at. Uh, Dennis sent a message. We got some sort of response, but it didn't even come through. So he sent another one, which is awesome. But one of the things I love is I can click right here and I can see a map. If I don't want to like look at the satellite and look at the lots and like see how it looks. I can use this tool. I can then use the satellite tool. If I want to drive the street while I'm texting somebody, I can actually, I seen a click. I can click this little button and all of a sudden I'm driving up and down the street while I'm texting the seller and learning about the neighborhood, right? Or I may click to dial. I click right there and then I can dial right out of my browser and I can be talking to the seller, driving up and down the street and I can say, hey, I noticed your neighbor has a new roof on his house. It looks great. It looks like everybody takes care of their properties. You know, and lots of nice trees on the street too. It's really, really pretty street. It's probably a great place to live, right? If I want to take notes, I can click the notes tab and I can add a note, add a note. Notes go here. I can save the note and you can see I have the notes there. It's time stamped, and also which person on your team left the note. If I want to create a task, let's say you want to follow up with somebody, but you don't want to just leave it to chance. They told you, hey, I'm out of town until next Tuesday. Call me Wednesday. Well, guys, I'm going to create a task for that Wednesday and I'm going to add a task and it's going to make, it's going to remind me up here, right, of things that I need to do. So you have the notes in the task. Now, this isn't really a CRM per se, but if you have ever been on any of my trainings, you're going to know that the two main things a CRM does is allow you to take notes on a lead and create a task to do something else at a later time. So in theory, this is a mini CRM. Now, now it's limited to just these two things right here, but still very, very cool. So I can, of course, drive it. I can look at the map and I can see what's going on. I can also view the property right here. And if there's multiple pictures from a recent listing um, on online, it may sometimes pull those photos in and then I can see it. Clicking right here is actually going to open up the information about the property. So here's another example. This particular property has an estimated value of 276. It's got a pretty high confidence. The equity is 177 grand, which is basically the difference of the mortgage balance and the estimated value. So it's a 276 essentially estimated value property. Dennis, from your experience, how accurate is the estimated values over here in batch? He's muted. He must have stepped away to use the bathroom or something. Oh, uh, total. Yeah. Oh, you're muted. good. Oh, yeah. It's actually a lot more accurate uh, in prop stream, in my experience, than prop stream. So I do prefer okay. value. But you use them both. Yeah, I do. And you use Zillow. And we're, we're looking at other things. Obviously, I love looking at the comps, too. You can run comps over here in batch, right? But knowing what they paid, they bought this property 21 years, seven months ago, and they paid 115 grand for it. They bought it in June of 2001. They have a mortgage and the mortgage balance is 98,000. You can go in and you can see the sale and loan information, who the loan with the bank is, what's the estimated payment. Do you see how this can be valuable to know what they owe and what their payment is when you're negotiating with them? It's going to be very, 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 very valuable. Are there distress factors? Have they filed bankruptcy? Have they done, had, have they gone through a divorce? Do they have a bunch of liens outside of their uh, open mortgage, right? Do they have any additional liens? Are they actively in pre-foreclosure? So you have your distress factors. You have your MLS statuses. You have your general data. Your property details is here. Everything you need to know about the property. How many beds? How many baths? When was it built? How many square footage is it? 
all this stuff. We actually have them on five different lists that you can see here. You can click view all to see those lists. And then we've even tagged this person. So it's a corporate owned. It's high equity, high equity with 15 plus years of ownership. Another list I pulled is high equity, 10 years of ownership. It's absentee owned and it's tired landlord. So this is a great particular property to market to. Um, and is the property vacant? No. Is the mail vacant? No. Did we skip trace it? Yes. Have they opted out of our marketing? No. Is it owner occupied? This one is saying yes. So they must have moved into it recently. But at some point, it was an absentee owned property, which is amazing. I can also go in and I can see that it's owned in a trust, right? So you have all this different information that you can use. Any of the notes that you save are going to be right down here. Additional information can go in there as well as your tasks. So you have all this right here at your fingertips. You can even change the status of this lead right here, which is really, really, really helpful. So it's amazing. So all in all, this is where you're going to manage your SMS. Wrong number, and it's going to auto mark this particular person as do not call. I don't need to mess with it because they use the, the opt out language. So again, in the um, system, you're going to send your initial. So there's two different ways to send, right? There is the initial outbound sending. And this is where you're going to do that over here in the campaigns area. We've sent 298. I'm going to send two more to hit 300. We sent 300 text already today, guys. Look at that. We have the ability to send up to 1,000 a day. So we could send 700 more today if we wanted to. So if I didn't want to send all the St. Charles absentee owners, for example, I can go and I can find a different campaign. And you can add in lots and lots of campaigns. There's, these are just our active campaigns. Right. If we go in here and we look at the completed campaigns, there's going to be 22 pages of them. Right. Tired landlords, expired listings, um, all different types of things, vacants, absentees, niche list, tax delinquent, seniors, absentee plus 10 years, vacants, probates, pro pre probates. So these are the different types of lists that we're marketing to. Vacants, absentees, absentees, pre-probate, tire landlords. You're going to see that this is going to be the same type of thing over and over again because this is what works. Vacants, niche, pre-probate, vacants, inherited. What other kind of list do we have? Vacants, uh, inherited, driving for dollars, tire landlords. Right. So you have all this in here. So this again, right here in this open or active campaigns area within the campaigns and the SMS, this is where we're going to start those new initial outbounds. But once we've once we've essentially casted the line in the water, right, we're going to head on over to the inbox and that's where we're going to manage our conversations. All right. Peyton says, so you couldn't get, um, get sued because of the end because of the end opt out or what else do you have on your side? I'm not really sure what that means. Peyton, somebody, Peyton, somebody can sue you for looking at you wrong, right? So there's no, there's no, you know, you, there's nothing you can essentially do to prevent that. However, by offering the opt out language, we are complying by the TCPA rules. That's why we do it. So the more we can comply, the better uh, we're going to be the le the least chance we're going to have. Now, I've never been sued and I have sent. Let's see here. Let's go to reports. Let's go to SMS report. Let's just look at the past year. I've sent almost 200,000 SMS messages, right? I've had up to four cold callers at one time calling out with three line dialers. And I've never had any issues with calling or texting people. All right. Uh, that's what I meant. So thank you. Yes, of course. All good. Hopefully we we're on the same page there. So, yeah, I mean, there's things that you can do to minimize that risk. And obviously not using particular keywords is going to get your messages delivered. It's not has nothing to do with that. Right. But complying by the rules um, by having opt out language is is definitely going to prevent it and, and, and mitigate those, you know, that potential. Now, um, another comment here. That's a big fear amongst beginners who don't understand the SMS game. And instead, spend away on direct mail because you comply. Comply because you comply. Got it. Um, yeah, I mean, yes and no. I mean, that is a fear. 
But if you have a brand new LLC and you're texting out of your LLC and somebody sues your LLC and you don't own any assets, they can't sue you for anything. What are they going to come sue you for? You don't have any assets in the LLC. So I would suggest you open up your phone number account in an LLC. If you don't already have an LLC, head on over to Prime Corporate Services. They're one of our um, one of our real, real estate school sponsors. You can see it over in the growth tools. Set up a consultation with them. They can help you set up an LLC. They can help you set up anything that you may need with a legal structure. They also offer accounting, bookkeeping, um, consultation services, all this type of good stuff. So amazing. I don't want to go too much longer because it's 258. I want to try to keep these trainings around an hour so they're consumable. People will actually watch them. So here's what I want to do. Dennis, thank you so very much for coming here today and helping demonstrate this. Dennis is in here and he is, again, the guy managing most of this for me, which is amazing. When Dennis finds a seller that wants to raise their hand and say, hey, what, um, what do you, you know, want to come view it? That's when he brings me in and then I help set the appointment or maybe he sets it for me. And then I go out and I look at the property and I start the conversations face to face. This tool right here is just designed to send bulk SMS, not only to do it fast, but to do it effectively with a high, a high uh, deliverability rate, as well as efficiently. I mean, go try to type in a hundred people's phone numbers and send them a text and manually type all that in. It's going to take you a month. We just sent 300 text messages in the last two hours. Yeah. Speed is the name of the game here. Uh, Peyton says, thank you for your time. Everyone have a great weekend. Absolutely. Peyton. Thanks for coming. Appreciate you. Nick says, are these templates already in batch leads? Some of the op, some of the uh, uh, quick response templates are, uh, but the templates that I'm going to share with you all here in real estate school are our specific templates that we use. And we've kind of tested some Nick, you know, over the years, some work better than others. You know, if you, the more information you give people, the less percentage they're going to, they're going to want to respond. Right. But if you kind of just give them some, something like, you know, one of the things that we love doing is just try to get a response out of them. And then of course, we're going to tell them everything they want to know who we are, why we're contacting them, you know, what our offer may be, you know, all of these things. But if you try to send them all that information in the beginning and they don't ever respond to you, you're kind of dead in the water. The name of the game is getting people to communicate with you. And then once you are communicating with them, the ultimate goal is to get them on a phone call, right? Over the years, we we're talking about this on a coaching call yesterday. We maybe have done one or two deals, maybe, where we've never spoken to the seller on the phone. But guys, that's out of a thousand. So the other 998 deals that I've done in the last eight years have come directly from a phone call to a seller. Either they call me or I call them. Or in this case, Dennis helps because he is my lead manager and my MVP. Dennis is the man. He is awesome. He helps manage a lot of this stuff. Um, and it just makes my life easy and it's a win-win, right? Um, so yes, Nick, I will add the templates that we use in when I add the call replay. It might not be till this evening. I got to go look at a couple houses this afternoon, but I'll get it in there today. I'll also copy in the quick responses. I believe some of those are customary, but you can edit them. And I'm almost positive we've edited ours, so I'll show you what we use. You're more than welcome to copy what we use into from our system into yours. The only thing I would suggest is don't use my company and or Dennis's name. Use your name and your company. That probably kind of goes without saying, but I want to say it just in case because, you know, there's probably somebody out there that's not going to think straight. They're going to copy it in there and then they're going to be sending a bunch of texts from Household Easy and they don't own Household Easy. I do. <laughs> so keep that in mind. But all in all, guys, this is just training number one for SMS. I'd like to try to do these every week. Um, we talked a lot today about batch and what it is and all the other things that we can do. Um, the next training, I'm not going to do all that. We're going to jump right on in and we're going to go text three, four, 500 people. And then we're going to head on over to the inbox and we're going to manage all the conversations and the people that say, take me off the list. Don't contact me. I'm not interested. We're going to mark them as not interested or do not call. And the people that essentially say, yeah, I'm interested. We're going to call them. We're going to try to get them on the phone. We're going to try to set appointments with them. We're going to pull up comps and we're going to make offers to them right there, either via text or ideally on the phone. 
Marketing is a fancy word for getting people on the phone, guys. It's simple, but you got to do something to get them on the phone. SMS marketing is by far the most efficient, most cost-effective way to get as many people on the phone as possible, at least from my experience. We love SMS. We love cold call. We love direct mail. We love websites and SEO and pay-per-click. Um, we love radio advertisements, bandit signs, definitely networking and using our own sphere of influence, our friends, our family, our acquaintances to generate leads. We love working with agents to get the pocket listings. I mean, the only way that you're able to go buy 100 houses a year is to have multiple marketing methods. SMS is just one of them, but I think it's probably one of my favorites. And if you are new, it's definitely one of the most cost-effective approaches. I mean, just sending out a thousand postcards alone is going to cost you 400 bucks, 500 bucks. For $400, you could text out of this platform all month. I mean, you're talking about a third of a penny, roughly maybe a half a penny to send a text. So for the same cost to send a thousand postcards, you could reach, you could reach a thousand sellers in, in a day, you not even have to wait for the mail to even deliver them. Right. So again, keep that in mind. Okay. 303 for an hour and three minutes. We might've started a minute or two late. So we're about an hour. Again, I want to try to keep these calls uh, short and sweet. Do we have anybody here that has a question? I'm going to actually end the call. Uh, so the replay isn't too long, and then we'll stick around for a few minutes and answer questions. So easy, we close fast, and any time that works for you, your house don't need it. We'll throw cash to hit so fast, don't know what to do. Wanted to care to keep it, no declutter, 